What's up, YouTube? This week's episode, we're actually going to travel to Calgary and Edmonton, uh, and we'll also be talking about what I kind of do as a teammate real estate coach. So, hope you guys enjoy. Landed in Calgary. Flight was pretty easy. I really did was nap. Did a little bit of reading. Yeah, I kind of woke up to flight attendant kind of chatting me up a little bit, and then I wanted some beef jerky. They said they didn't have any. Yeah, she actually came back after and gave me some free beef jerky. It kind of just hooked me up, so it's kind of nice. Got a little bit of gains before we hop onto another plane to Edmonton. Pretty excited to see Christine there, missing my girlfriend, and just like take a little bit of vacation, get away from the city. Fiona there, my assistant's gonna be doing a little bit, just like the first touch, just to make sure, um, okay, are we vetting our potential students properly? Are these people serious about real estate? Are they actually have clear intentions and clear goals of what they want to do when it comes to real estate investing, whether it be just in Winnipeg in the Manitoba area or even kind of expanding and getting students all across Canada. The more they take a step back, the more that I can kind of focus on really just providing the best coaching that I can. Now, when it comes to real estate coaching, the first session I always start with is creating a real estate plan. And basically that's where we do an overview, figure out what's your big why, we figure out a financial needs analysis just to make sure we know your starting point. And then we introduce the seven ways to make money in real estate. Then we'll finally build a plan for you where we'll explore, okay, what's the niche you wanna go into? What neighborhood, what kind of age group is gonna be your tenants? And are you gonna be doing buy and holds, flips, rent homes, or the burrs? And by putting that all together, you'll build a roadmap to your own success. One thing that I always do is I always give my students homework because it keeps them accountable and I'm not giving them too much info after each session. Students will not be able to access the next session with me through the one-on-one -on -one coaching if they don't do their homework. Now it comes with teammate real estate coaching session two. This is where we talk about branding and lead generation. So we talk about, okay, when does it start to make sense to have a corporate identity, making our logo designs, business cards, using social media, and how to use YouTube and Facebook specifically for real estate investing. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the fundamentals of marketing, how to organize your information systems, make sure that you're tracking your marketing and doing lead generation properly. We'll also give you some secrets on what other people are not doing when it comes to real estate investing, how to manage your calls. We'll also be looking at inspecting properties so that we're gonna be going in field with my students. Uh, we'll be talking about MLS for beginners and a little bit of uh, some secrets how you can source information when it comes to either looking for comparables or finding motivated sellers. And then finally, we always break down how to use a keystone matrix and how to essentially find out if your realtor is gonna be your friend or maybe they are your competition. Morning, it's the next day. Finally made it to Edmonton. Gonna be walking to the gym and while I walk, we're gonna explain what kind of value you'll get with session three of Teammate Real Estate Coaching. So let's get started. Okay, with session three of Teammate Real Estate Co Coaching, we're looking at the Real Estate Masterclass and really building your power team. We show you how to get started and using your formulas that are gonna be rules of thumb. So what's a rule of thumb when it comes to a flip, to a burr, to a buy and hold, to a rent to own? And that's what's gonna start us to basically be able to analyze a deal properly. Now we don't buy homes on rules of thumb. Instead, we're gonna go to a full on property analyzer. And I show you how to do that on paper just because I want all my students to be able to understand the theory behind analyzing a deal. Now, once they get very good at analyzing deals on paper, then we give them apps because everything's much easier with the use of technology. Then we kind of go back to organizing all the chaos when it comes to leads and when sellers come to see you. We also show you how to set up your direct marketing campaign, how to stay creative when it comes to wholesaling and acquiring deals. And basically we show you how to wholesale, who's the type of client that you want, how does, someone actually do a wholesale why wholesaling makes sense and of course give you guys some more homework and set up some weekly goals so that you're staying accountable as a student and you're not getting overwhelmed by all the info we're kind of giving you again i like to small chunk each of the sessions so that every session students are learning just enough to move forward and incrementally progress towards their own real estate goals 
Now for session four, we'll be showing you how to manage an offer to purchase and a little bit of our secret guerrilla negotiation strategies. We'll show you how to determine the price and some rules that we use, such as a 10% rule, the MAO or the maximum I will offer and finding your cap rates. And we'll also show you examples of offers when it comes to single family domains and then also multifamily domains. We'll also show you how to negotiate a commercial deal and also a rent to own property. We'll be showing you how to bulletproof yourself when it comes to your offer. So we'll show you the importance of choosing your terms, choosing your conditions, how to again, calculate pricing. Now, finally, we'll give you your secret gorilla negotiation techniques of how to use tonality, facial expressions, give and take to make sure that you're closing deals properly and efficiently. Session five, we'll be looking at getting your first deal done. We'll be building you a credibility package, helping you with your perfect pitch, helping you manage private money and attract joint ventures. This is where we start learning about money school. So the difference between good debt and bad debt, how to use the power of leverage, how to use cheap money, understanding the credit tree, which is mortgages, RSPs, HELOCs, and when it makes sense to use a credit card for deals and how to control money and do what's called a banking blitz when that makes sense. And we show you how to track money using the task of asking that your friend's friend needs money. We help you build a banking package so you walk into the banks prepared. We show you how to listen for other investors' needs, give money real value, and how to pitch for money. So basically, we'll show you how to get a partner to say yes and commit to your deals, how to track money, how to structure joint venture partnerships multiple ways not just one and how to decide who's a general partner and who's a limited partner so you don't want to miss on money school because you're definitely not taught this in school okay so moving on to session six this is where we start learning about project management how to schedule how to have systems and how to structure everything we'll show you what to do and what not to do when it comes to rentals just because a burr a flip a rent to own and a buy and hold will require different rentals because they're not all the same type of deal. We'll show you how to build a scope of work, which is a document that contains all your rentals, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just pass it on to contractors. It makes it much easier once you've built that. We'll show you how to manage a site, how to take care of garbage, utilities, the environment, and the safety and liability of basically determining who's in charge of what, because if you don't delegate it, it's gonna be your job. Now, when it comes to scheduling, we'll show you what the order of things is when it comes to rental. We gotta make sure you don't mess this up because that can seriously screw up your projects. Make sure we keep everything public so that there's accountability. You have calendars, you have agendas that are set up so that your team knows what to do when, especially when you're the one kind of contracting and subcontracting everything. We'll show you how to draft your own contracts, how to set up rewards and punishments if contractors aren't kind of staying on top of the work. We'll show you how to set up payment, how to make sure your materials and your labor is delegated. If it's not someone else's job, it's gonna be yours. We'll show you how to determine the quality of the finishing. And the whole point of this is to simplify the system so you can build a team that you can be proud of and that are loyal to you. We'll show you how to delegate all these tasks and eventually you'll learn how to manage multiple projects, not just one, how to set up a private sale first and how to again, organize all these things so that your renovations go smoothly and you become a pro at managing rentals. Moving forward with session seven, we'll be talking about property management 101, show you the essentials of becoming a landlord, how to choose your price, how to find comparable rentals in your neighborhood so you know exactly what to charge. We'll also be showing you the exact documentation that you'll need, such as the rental application and the lease agreements, and we'll show you exactly how to go through that so that you become very comfortable filling out those application forms. We'll give you steps on knowing your ideal tenant and how to identify your niche so that you can build a culture when it comes to taking care of your tenants. How do you find tenants? We'll show you how to pre-screen them, how to screen them, how to show the proper ads, how to create your own copy, and then ask the right questions so you're screening all your tenants properly, and this will reduce any issues that you may have. Giving you rules of thumbs if you ever run into any hearings with the Residential Tenancy Board or the RTB. Finally, we'll show you how to market for your suite, give you the beginner steps to managing and finding tenants using Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace. Now you gotta ask yourself, what is your niche? We'll help you find that out, how to find the right photos, take the right uh, videos and stage your properties when necessary. Again, show you the three fold attack plan when writing your copy. It'll show you the most efficient ways to get paid as a landlord, how to manage pets, pests, 
how much to take for a deposit, and again, a full walkthrough. After you've completed this session for the essentials of being a landlord, aka Landlord 101, we'll basically build you the ultimate tenant handbook, which is a handbook that you'll essentially pass to your property manager, or if you're the one managing the properties, you don't have to explain all the rules to your tenants. We just give them the handbook and they'll understand all the necessary steps, all the checklists, and you'll be bulletproof, saving you time and money and making you a pro landlord session eight which is finances 202 so here we start planning ahead and organizing our income so we don't fall behind so we'll show again a review of the difference between income and expenses and really focusing on systemizing everything so we understand okay what's our gross profit what's our net profit comparing the difference between what we make on paper versus in reality really important to understand our revenue and gross income net income Again, calculating our net worth so we know if we're moving forward in our financial goals. So also looking at, okay, when does it make sense to own our homes personally? What do we do when we do flips, rentals, rent to owns? And when does it start to make sense to own things in a corporation? We want to be flexible with this and start working with the bookkeeper. That's going to be essential. And we start asking more advanced tax strategies. So at that point, you've already looked at advanced tax strategies. We've learned how to become a landlord, how to properly manage a project, also learned okay, how to build our power team, how to analyze numbers using both rules of thumb and going into the details for when we actually buy the property. We've learned how to negotiate, how to do our marketing, how to set a brand up, and then also the introduction to real estate. So at that point, students, probably should already have closed a deal or they're getting very close to closing their first deals. Now, there's a couple packages if you are interested in being one of my students as a teammate real estate success coach. Basically, we do have our one-on-one coaching. It's not cheap. It is very similar to going to college. Um, you could ask myself or my assistant about that. I'll send you some links down below. And there are other packages as well. If you want to take things to the next level, there's a platinum package. But also we have a new inner circle, which is weekly sessions where we'll go not only covering the eight sessions that we talked about today, going into the advanced sessions presented in Platinum, but also continuing your education through weekly coaching sessions with myself and all the other teammate real estate students. So if that's something you're interested, make sure you s apply for the scholarship. It is a significant scholarship that we are offering to many people. So if that's something you're interested, Check the links below.